It's crazy that we're here right now. Um, that my sister got married today. I mean, in this crazy world that we live in, craziest I think we've all ever seen, um, that something as beautiful as this could still happen. All of us are changed by what's happened today. And I can't wait to see all of our lives continue to change and develop into something bigger and wonderful. So, to Megan and Brett, and to making our lives beautifully changed. day that my older sister got married. Oh. Brett was never just Megan's boyfriend to me. He's been the wisdom that I've needed. He's been my friend. And now he is my family. And thank you for loving my sister exactly the way that she deserves. So Megan has this small tattoo on her arm that reads, man plans, God laughs. How apt. Because no matter how carefully you plan, no matter how perfect the picture is in your head, it's still just that, a plan, a picture. Real life is messy, complicated, rife with bumps in the road and unexpected turns. But as anyone who has ever sat and watched a sunset will tell you, real life is also more beautiful than any picture could ever be. So Megan and Brett planned and God laughed because he had something else in store for them something intimate, something beautiful, something divine, something none of us could have pictured. There are um, a few words in the English language that I haven't used very often. But there is one word that I've very, very seldomly used in, into a conversation. It's son. Because I have three daughters, son really never came up any time. So that's a word that I'm going to add to my vocabulary. And I'm glad that you are the one that I can call son from now on.
do you willingly and lovingly give your support for this marriage again <laughs> and for always? <laughs> we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you for being here, for sharing this special moment again. Oh, wait, half of you were not here, so some of it is going to be new for you, but for some of us, it's a déjà vu. I have had the unique privilege of watching their relationship grow from a spark, a twinkle in Megan's eye as she watched Brett dancing to himself behind the bar counter at work, <laughs> to a flame, a glow deep in Brett's face as she showed me a picture of the ring he couldn't wait to give her. I remember sitting with Brett in an emptied out La Isla well after closing time, planning out his first date with Megan. By the time we left the restaurant, the sun was coming up. I knew then that I was witnessing the start of something special. And then a short while later, I got to be there when Megan realized she loved him. Brett had just said goodnight and left our apartment after an evening spent with her. And the minute he was gone, she was overcome with emotion. She couldn't even recognize it at first because it was such a powerful and all-encompassing love. Something she had never felt before. She was on fire. She had found her twin flame. First time we met, I had no idea I would fall completely head over heels for this wonderful human being standing in front of me. It didn't take long before we were on our first date. The Ferris wheel, the dinner on the pier, the drinks at Matt's, and the first time he surprised me by holding my hand. From there, it was all over. I often find myself sneaking a peek at you, mesmerized by your beauty, and trying to figure out what on earth made you choose me. But I'm so lucky that you did. You're the best gift life has given me. You always have my hand and my heart as we continue through this journey together. You are who I've been writing about in my songs all this time. And as your wife, <laughs> I promise to teach you, to bring you back to your heart and remind you of your strength and truth, to listen to you, to snuggle with you, laugh and cry with you. I promise to love you completely, devotionally, unconditionally for this whole lifetime and I promise to find you and love you and all the others. for these two to tighten out again and hopefully 
we're done. There's nothing happening next year. Don't put anything on your calendars. Now, without any further ado, by the power vested in me from Universal Life Church Ministries in the state of Washington, it is my joyful honor to re-pronounce you husband and wife. Now, kiss her already. Love, hug, kiss this woman to death. Uh, she deserves every bit of it. Let's raise a glass to Megan and Brett for their love and happiness forever.